I tweeted this to the trading community, and I'm quoting, this week we're working on developing a sleep routine for each of the firms developing traders. What effective techniques do you employ to sleep well so you perform at your best while trading? So we know that elite trading performance requires quality sleep. Without proper sleep, your performance will suffer significantly. And we've seen some traders almost have no chance to make money and have a good trading session without sufficient sleep. The trading community, after I put out this tweet, offered some excellent ideas to develop an effective sleep routine, which I'm going to share with you guys in part one of this new video series. Further, we're going to end this video, part one of this video, with a challenge to you to improve your trading performance. And we're going to end this video series with a sleep routine template from us, from our firm, for you to consider to help with your trading. Hi, I'm Mike Bellafuri, managing partner of SMB Capital, and we're a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm also the author of the Trading Classic, One Good Trade, and the playbook, go check them out. Click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the trading videos that we're producing for you in the trading community. So in part one of this new video series, which we're gonna have some fun with, you're gonna learn how to develop a sleep routine to improve your trading performance. You're also gonna learn ideas to improve your sleep from the trading community that have been shared with us, an exercise where we challenge you to complete, which we challenge you to complete that we're working on here at our firm with our guys, with our developing traders to help you improve your performance. That your performance depends on the good habits that you develop and you're also gonna to learn to start thinking about what habits you can implement to, to drive better trading. For those who wanna improve their trading so you grow your trading account, we hope this video helps. If you wanna learn three real world setups that our traders use, including the simple setup that we teach all of our new traders, and the setup that turned one of our traders into a seven figure big money earner, just this one strategy. Check out the free webinar that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That's gonna open up the free registration page in a new window. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose this video. You can also visit tradingworkshop.com to register for this free, intensive, awesome workshop. You're gonna learn more in a couple of hours from this trading workshop than from years of online education. Okay, so this week we sat in our training room in Midtown Manhattan, in New York City, with our bright, ambitious, awesome, new developing traders who are working really hard to become the next green shirt traders and black shirt traders at the firm. And we said to them, hey, let's work on something that's super important, that's super important for your trading performance, that materially impacts your P&L results for the day. And at our firm, we think about the inputs for our routine that drive P&L. If we are thinking about improving our P&L, we know that we've gotta take a bunch of best practices, turn them into habit, and have that drive P&L. And if we wanna improve P&L, we gotta go back and look at a best practice that perhaps we can add, a best practice that we can tweak, improve, supplement, so that that helps us drive better decisions in real time and improve our P&L. And so some of you might be sitting there saying, oh, Bella, why don't you just come in front of us and teach us a trade? Teach us a trade, okay? Just teach us a trade. And we do a lot of that. And I'm, I'll do that, I'm sure, this week as well and, and, and send it out. But, 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 we play at a very high level at our firm. We are working on getting guys to be seven-figure traders and better and multi-million dollar traders who are trying to hit that next level. And we're fortunate to coach guys outside of the firm at that level as well who are real interested in getting to mid seven figures or even eight figures. 
And so when you develop edge, there are lots of things that you need to work on so that you can get the most out of your edge. It becomes super important. And even if you're somebody who's sitting at home who's making two, three, four thousand dollars a month, but is consistent. What we're going to talk about today is super important as to how you get to ten thousand dollars a month. When we start to recognize and develop consistently profitable traders at the firm, we then, after that point, when they have that edge, we really have to spend a lot of time helping them work on the things that go into performance. So things like a diet routine, things like a review routine, a preparation routine, a self-talk routine, a, a mindfulness practice. All of those things become very, very important as to how those guys can get to the next level. So it's the beginning, we're helping guys develop edge, and then as they get a little bit more mature, we're helping them broaden their edge but we're spending a lot of time getting them to be the best trader they can be by implementing best practices that they turn into habit that drive performance. Make sense? And so this is, this is important. Sleep in, in many studies uh, is a significant, significant driver of performance. And so anyway, that's what we're working, out, working on here internally. I wanted to share that with the trading community. And I wanted to put this tweet out and get some feedback from you guys. And we got a lot of terrific feedback. So you can see the tweet that I put out and ask for some feedback. Uh, what I want to do is run through some of that so you guys can see it. And perhaps these ideas shared by the trading community will help you with the challenge that I'm going to present to you at the end, which you'll find. So let's get to it. And, we, and what's great, you know, one of the things I love about making these videos is that we have so many hardcore elite performers in our community who you know, are, are way ahead of somebody like myself on meditation, are way ahead somebody like myself on mindfulness practice, and, and, and lots of other areas. And we get great ideas from them. So let's share that with you guys. Corey writes, you should have them watch videos of the UC Berkeley sleep professor, Matthew Walker. He has many videos online. You can check them out, including this Joe Rogan podcast. I actually have read that book. I read Matthew Walker's book, Why We Sleep. Excellent book. And I actually said that. Look at that. Yes, I've read that book. But great suggestion. So Andrew suggests I go to bed around the same time each night, even on the weekends. I listen to audio like chat with traders or anything that offers mental value as I seek to fall asleep. If I don't fall asleep while listening to my audio, I do something similar to this. I would suggest you put on the chat with traders episode of myself. That'll put you right to sleep. One thing I learned to do, so Zachary says, one thing I learned to do on deployment was take 10 to 15 minutes to do a stretching routine before bed. It clears your mind because you're focused on your body, releases lots of endorphins, and engages the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting relaxation. Try it. Love this idea. Thanks, Zachary, for sharing. Just got finished reading David Goggins' book uh, recently. Have suggested to the trading community that they check it out. The last chapter talks about how much value he finds stretching to his overall health. He was a Navy SEAL, for those of you who don't know. Fits well with your training right here and what you're advocating. I noticed myself that I'm doing more and more stretching. In fact, before the open, we have a, a short AM Ideas meeting. and. I do a bunch of stretching in the room with the guys. I'm sure they look at me like I'm a little bit, they think I'm a little bit funny, but I go through a, a five to 10 minute stretching routine as these guys are sharing their best ideas on the open. And I just, I keep, I find myself doing more and more stretching. 
Do any of your traders have small children? Do you develop sleep routines for those? Yeah, so I have two kids and I can tell you that they come in to wake us up in the middle of the night. Uh, my son, I will say this and embarrass him, likes to come in and say, Dad, I peed the bed. <clears throat> my daughter likes to come in, in the middle of the night. I think she just likes to get some hugs. I kind of like being awake in, awoke in the middle of the night. You get these really special moments with your kids. But it's hard to design an optimal sleep schedule when you're getting these interruptions from your kids. So Ashton says, uh, room temperature is also important. I have found as well. So my wife has mentioned this as well. She read the book that Ariana Huffington wrote on sleep, which recommends you set your room temperature real low, 64 degrees. Uh, we play around between 64 and 68 degrees. I find 64 degrees to be a little bit too cold, but, but 64 to 68 degrees is, is definitely something to play around with. Tom Brady has talked a lot about the temperature he keeps his room at to get really quality sleep. He likes to keep it pretty cold as well. Trader John, go to bed at the same time every night. No electronics, 30 minutes before bed. Visualize how I want my day tomorrow to go as I'm falling asleep. Excellent idea to go to bed at the same time and wake up at the same time. I've read that in many articles that that is the best practice. Full disclosure, I'm terrible at that. I uh, go to sleep sometime in an hour window, but going to bed at the same time every night has never worked for me for some reason. And so uh, I've, I've had to work that and, and, and left room for that uh, in my schedule. Michael Wilkins, I spoke to a sleep doctor about this and they said the sleep you get before midnight is the best. So my sleep is 6 p.m. to 10 a.m., 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Sydney time. U.S. markets open 11.30 p.m., close 6 a.m. Sydney time. So there's literature out there that says the sleep you get before 12 o'clock at night is more restful and more important than the sleep after 12 p.m. GDR trading, detail focus on quality food, proper hydration, careful attention to alcohol and any drugs, no electronics in the bedroom, dark room, high quality mattress and good bedding, rigid schedule, turn off the TV, turn on to books. We find this, my wife and I, that if we have more than one alcoholic drink, our sleep suffers. If you read Why We Sleep, you drinking alcohol before you sleep interrupts with your REM sleep. You won't get as high quality sleep if you have alcohol before bed. So good stuff here from GDR. Paul says using headspace sleeping category helps to sleep right away. So I use this app as well uh, regularly. I do 10 minutes a day. I don't do it before I sleep, I do it during the day. But this is a great app for traders. Uh, the, the Headspace app, highly recommend it. Warren Muppet, hi Mike, do you have any crypto traders on your desk? I trade the forward curve, hold my inventory for hours, days, and it totally wrecks my sleep schedule. Last week was getting up at 9 a.m. and bedtime was 4 a.m. for a total of five hours of sleep. Not sustainable long-term, any tips? No, I don't have any tips at all. I think you're gonna have to suck this up for the time being. I was in Sydney, I visited a crypto hedge funds with a bunch of prop traders there. And they were telling me stories about how they had to set alarms throughout the 24 hours, which would wake them up when a big opportunity was arising and they just had to learn how to deal with it. Well, crypto, I mean, the good thing is if you're up at crazy hours, it's in play and you're probably making money. Reducing blue light levels one hour before bed, reducing caffeine intake in general, good mattress plus pillow. Yeah, and that was, that was something interesting to read in Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker as to how long caffeine stays in your system before it gets out of your system. So what lots of people do is they do not have caffeinated drinks after lunch 
so that that isn't interfering with their sleep at bedtime. And caffeine also interrupts your quality sleep, your REM sleep. So even if you can fall asleep, it's not as good if you've had caffeinated drinks before bed as Matthew Walker wrote in his book. So thanks for all of those shares from the trading community. Start thinking about what you, what would be best for you, for your sleep routine. Everybody is different. Everybody is an individual. What works for you may not work for somebody else, but here are some great ideas. I appreciate everyone for sharing them. Love that about our trading community. And now we have this challenge for you. SMB challenge. This is your challenge for the week. Go to bed when you get tired and wake up naturally for one week and record those times. Notice how much sleep you need and the best times for you to hit the sack and rise. Develop a preliminary sleep routine that works best for you, perhaps using some of the ideas that we're sharing in this video. And then check back next week for our SMB template on developing a sleep routine for optimal trading performance. Get to work. Hey, go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that we're producing for you in the trading community. And please add your feedback in the comments section for what videos you'd like for us to produce next and what you found helpful from this video and even what you're doing to improve your sleep routine. From all of us at SMB, train and trade well.